All right, folks, bias overview. This is Aris B760M Aris Elite AX motherboard. You can see upper left corner here, the BIOS version F1. We currently have a 13th gen CPU installed, the uh, relatively new i5-13400F, and it shows you how much RAM. As uh, recommended by the manufacturer, um, with our two sticks of RAM, we're using A2 and B2. This RAM is fixed at 4800 megahertz. Uh, though surprisingly, it will allow me to hit this, but uh, can't really increase the speed. So if I had RAM, it went uh, 5200, 5600. It will most likely have a base speed of 4800 and you'll be able to overclock it to that higher speed. Here is the boot sequence. I only have one drive on here, otherwise we might see more. Here's some of the information about the CPU, as you can see. No SATA drives hooked up, PCIe. You can see that we have a graphics card installed and it is a PCIe 4.0 capable. M.2, if we had more than one drive, installed or one m.2 you would see that i do have uh, this motherboard does have two ram slots this is the micro atx version you can see the cpu speed this is the stock cooler it's chugging along at 1200 rpms to keep that cpu in the uh, mid 30s all right so I will show you in another video, but this is a place that you could update the BIOS. Uh, this also does feature the ability to update the BIOS without a CPU or RAM or graphics card installed. Uh, not as necessary though as it was for the B660M as you wanted to go to 13th gen. Uh, if you bought that without a 12th gen CPU, that's when you would need to update it without having a CPU, RAM, or graphics card installed. Now, from what I have seen though, you could actually install it, have that stuff installed and update it after the fact. Let's head over to advanced mode. And here's some of your favorites that are in here. Um, you can remove these and add to them as you see up there. Let's go over tweaker. So we're just gonna briefly go over this stuff. Uh, may not even say anything about it. This is really for those of you that want to see what's in the menus. And most of these, you know, we either say auto, manual, enable, disable. If I don't open it, oops, if I don't open one of the menus, that one doesn't have any of the choices there. Auto enable disable for that one. And this thing has a tendency to jump up. Turbo power limits. So you can see what you can do there. I like the old way this was set up. You actually have to scroll all the way down and scroll all the way back up. This makes it harder to do these videos. <laughs> Alright, so that appears to be everything under that menu. Advanced memory settings. You could go in here and do your timings and stuff. Memories location. Usually a lot of lines in here.
painters have never clicked on this or this is different. Um, let's see what else do I have to see. this up, see that, hit everything there. So this is the spot where you go if you get tired of that uh, gigabyte utilities downloader message. Disable that. A lot of these are not anything you can change, just information only. to computing. This used to be a bigger deal uh, before Windows 11 came out. PC health status. A lot of the same stuff you saw in easy mode. Jump over to system info. If you want to change the system language, you could do that here. Another place to update the BIOS. And this is uh, the boot menu. Set your boot priorities. So it would be obviously helpful, I think, if I uh, you know, would install more drives in these so you guys can see a little bit more. But uh, Windows 10 feature. Um, do that. CSM support. Secure boot and then save and exit. Now, if you keep uh, booting back and forth, uh, most likely you don't have a either an operating system on your drive or whatever reason it's not recognizing it. Uh, all kinds of things that you may have to figure out. Now, when you do a BIOS update, uh, you will find some things go back to default. It may adjust your uh, boot priorities. And then, as we showed earlier, uh, for XMP, it may disable this if you have RAM that's overclockable. So you may have to redo that. Hey, thanks for checking out the video, folks. Please like, please subscribe. Thank you.